So the question is, how do we go about treating this? Well, at our center here, at the Center for Breath Treatment, we have two approaches. The primary approach we have is to try and get to the bottom of why they have it. In order to do that, we have to, to achieve a diagnosis, and that involves seeing the patient. So for our patients that come in over uh, from out of town, we see them over a two-day period, and at the end of that two-day period, we've resolved the problem. Local patients don't need to be treated as quickly because they're not trying to catch a flight out of town to go back home, so they're usually done over about a, a week to two-week period. The focal point of our treatment is to get to the sources so that we can know what to, uh, to deal with when it comes to treating this. And for those that can't come to us, uh, which uh, can be due to economic reasons, we have uh, treatment programs that we try to help people with and guide them through on our website. And so these treatment programs will entail using various devices and medical uh, medications. We choose the medications and different products that we use uh, very carefully. Uh, it's important for us to make sure that there's, there's um, efficacy. So not only do these products have to pass their own uh, efficacy tests, but we actually run them through uh, our own studies to make sure that they're actually pr uh, working properly. Then what we'll do is integrate these products into our treatment programs. And it's an evolving process. Over the years, we've changed many of our medications that we use and products that we use based on, on new developments. So we're always looking at new, new products, new developments, and, and researching these. The, one of the biggest uh, difficulties we have, and is also the biggest cause, is, is the dry mouth area. And dry mouth problems uh, are, uh, seem to be a growing issue these days. It does affect all ages, but primarily it'll, it'll affect the, the older population a bit more. Reasons for that is uh, slowing metabolisms, and the biggest one is probably all the medications that people are on. And as we age, we're going to be using more medications, and most medications out there tend to have some effect on the salivary flow. So because of that, this is kind of a focal area that, that we have in our practice, and it is a difficult one. There are a number of different products that we use for, for treating dry mouth, and, and sometimes dry mouth is as simple as, simple as uh, just drinking more water you know, to, to resolve it. Unfortunately, that is, that is usually not the case, but sometimes we're lucky enough and that, that's what occurs. We have some products, uh, a couple of our very popular products and the more, more effective products we have are a couple of products called um, Saliz and uh, Dentiva. And these products have proven to be excellent. They're excellent in, for, for a number of reasons. One of them is the longevity. When someone has a dry mouth issue, the problem with it is that most products out there are very short acting. And in fact, our experience with most products that you can buy in the drugstore, they just plain aren't that effective at all. So the Salis is, is probably the flagship of the products we use for dry mouth, and it lasts anywhere from four to six hours. We've had patients tell us they've had it last as an excess of eight hours. It does a, it does a number of things. It, it will stimulate saliva flow. It does um, affect the volatile sulfur compounds, so it does absorb them to some extent. And the, another beautiful thing about it is it has the effect of, uh, of, of countering the bacteria. So there's some antibacterial properties. The Dentiva product is very similar to that, uh, but it doesn't have as the, the saliva stimulating properties that the, that the Salise has. But these, these are the, the top you want to call them sellers uh, in our practice. Patients keep coming back to these time and time again, so we've been very happy with those. Uh, I just attended an oral medicine uh, lecture a couple months ago, and one of the subjects that came up in that lecture was the subject of xerostomia, or the dry mouth syndrome. And during that lecture, uh, the speaker started to discuss uh, about some of the different causes of it, and which we kind of were familiar with already, but they were going to talk about what they felt were the best products for treating this. And when the slide came up, lo and behold, there was the Salise and the Dentiva up there. So we were 
we're pretty pleased that we both came to the same conclusion uh, independently on that. So the uh, Salis and the Dentiva here uh, are the products that, uh, that I've been very happy with. Uh, Dentiva has a, a certain level of uh, saliva stimulation for, in it that uh, will help some of the milder cases of, of dry mouth. But when we get into our patients that have the more severe kinds of problems, uh, this is where the Salis uh, really comes in. So it has, it has a better benefit in that department. Both of them have the same bacteria, antibacterial properties and the same ability to absorb the volatile sulfur compounds. So they've, uh, I, th I think overall though, one of the biggest attributes is the longevity because I, I haven't found a product out there yet that can last that long. And the, one of the biggest complaints we get from people with dry mouth is the products that are out there are very, very short acting. And so they're constantly having to pop things into their mouth. So the Dentiva and, and the Salis uh, really satisfy that area. And uh, we've been very pleased with it.